find the bike and buy it cheap. That's what we're gonna be doing today. Here is your expert shy bike. I hope that you enjoyed my yesterday's episode, which was the first lesson of the cycling academy I just launched for you. And I hope also that you remember now about not focusing too much on spending lots of money just at the beginning of your adventure with cycling, all right? But since you've been asking me about some entry-level cyclocross and gravel bikes, perhaps also for commuting and, you know, doing fitness on the bike, here is my top seven deals for today that I've prepared both for, at least for US and Europe, UK, will really benefit uh, from it. I know also that you get used to um, those super short reviews, which will uh, just tell you like top five, uh, aluminum spec with Shimano 105, good deal. Uh, in my opinion, it's not enough info, so I will make a bit longer one, bear with me. I'm also trying to take my YouTube skills to another level, trying to talk short. Uh, and this, this may sound now quite funny for you, but I will really focus on doing that in the, in the new way. So be, be with me uh, and at the end I have four extra deals for you. One will be super budget cyclocross gravel bike, two auctions that uh, I think it's really good to try to bid on and one like bit older old school uh, bike on the eBay uh, UK. Now below the video you have my affiliate links. You can use those uh, in order to purchase the bikes. You can you, in that way you then support my channel. Thank you for that. But of course you don't have to do it. If you do it, I'm very very uh, grateful for you. All right, number one from those top seven is Giant 2016 TCX SLR2 in very good, um, very good. It's the the most uh, I would say the most. Um, desired um, uh, size which is uh, medium large uh, frame uh, each of those top deals will have something unique and this one is uh, specced with really nice Shimano 105 components but it has one thing that doesn't uh, no other bike has which is the uh, so-called diffuse SL composite seat post really good one because um, if you are using this bike for either cyclocross or gravel or commuting on some rough roads having this um, uh, seat post here shaped as a D like D letter it will deflect more to the rear it makes the bike so much more compliant it costs $1200 and most of those uh, bikes will be just around $1000 but you can beat 950 uh, when you see this episode probably the auction is already like ended but uh, just look for the relisted one and i would really bid 950 in my opinion really good one now short info i'm not connected in any way to any of those uh, advertisers advertisers i'm just using my affiliate links uh, and showing you something that is in my opinion really good deal so it is your uh, job to read the description and check out uh, the seller's uh, feedback all right okay so giant 2016 tcx also the frame the aloe frame that's the highest aluminum uh, grade that giant has not many road bikes uh, has those but this one cyclocross has so really good this is the alo xxx slr really lightweight uh, lots of different technologies of shaping good one all right so that was uh, number one um, then number two is the specialized cracks 2015 uh, 54 centimeters good one uh, and just just below 1300 bucks now this one will not have so good components as the the uh, giant because we have two by nine sora components here so two by nine uh, I would say nine speed for the beginner. It won't be too too few gears, but I'm just comparing. You know, we have here Shimano Sora against the Shimano 105, which is even more than the Shimano Tiagra. So the the componentry is not that uh, good here. But we also have the tapered headset and the fork, which is made of uh, carbon fiber, same as uh, for Giant, carbon fiber bladed with the aluminum uh, steerer. So this is also a good one in my opinion. Um, quite nice uh, discount on this one, 20% off. Good one, I would say a good one. Now, what you really need to compare between 
all those bikes, I will just show you a couple of um, examples, is the geometry. Uh, you have to know whether you are using this bike for fitness uh, purpose and commuting or really cyclocross racing. Some guys uh, think that if you just purchase a cyclocross bike you can do a uh, commuting on it. No, because it will have the racy position, not that uh, comfortable and it won't uh, allow you to mount any racks and fenders. So look for racks and fenders adapters. Uh, most of these bikes, I think all of those, will have, will have the adapters. So search for those. And the, in, uh, in terms of the geometry, look at two factors. Um, we have here, this one is in Polish, so I will show you here reach and stack so it will tell you how high the bike is which which means the higher the more upright position the better for commuting and the reach how long it is the longer it is the more uh, the more racy i would say uh, the geometry is or your position on the bike is so for example if we compare similar size like 50 centimeter centimeter top tube large size between this specialized and the giant we have stack of 583 and reach 384 and giant will have in this size will have stack 572 and reach 385 so the reach is almost the same but but stack 572 uh, versus 583 means you are lower on the bike so I would say the Giant will have more racy geometry. It doesn't mean it won't be comfortable at all for you, but just you just you just should know about it. And most of the reviews like top cyclocross, commuting, gravel bikes will not tell you that. So make sure you have, if you need, the adapters for fenders and racks and compare stack and reach. This is so important here. All right, so specialized, uh, I wouldn't say you pay for the brand here, you pay for the quality of the frame and fork but the componentry will be not as good as on the Giant. The next one, don't forget in the US, this is all the eBay uh, US so far, felt. We've got the F55X cyclocross bike, $1300, but see what you get here. This is uh, one bike drivetrain, so it's uh, like the new cyclocross racing style, but the drivetrain is one by 11, so you have 11 speed in the rear, but also uh, there is no specs here, but it's uh, here on the, on the page. You are getting hydraulic disc brakes. You are ge getting also carbon uh, bladed fork, but the fork has the through axle. So the, the through axle is stiffer. I like it. It gives you more com uh, com uh, control. Uh, it makes a whole uh, fork also just work stiffer and be more precise. I like it and you get all this for $1300 on this felt, nice looking, uh, bright colors, you can see it from, from the distance, I like it. And the uh, componentry from SRAM Rival uh, S, uh, CX1 is just good, I would say it's just good. So uh, this is good deal for $1300, that's uh, my opinion about it. Of course check out the seller information, the feedback and so on. Next one is really good one. If you remember I made once the um, episode about Diamondback uh, bicycles and these were quite overpriced. Uh, the components were, weren't really matching the price but here once more $1200 so it's $100 less than the uh, felt and what we get here is really good deal. Just look at the components. We have some uh, Shimano Altegra, which is the only bike with Shimano Altegra uh, components. We don't have through axles, but the fork is full Monaco carbon. Really, really good one. We have tapered steer tube, we have carbon dropouts, uh, so good one. Uh, and this is like gravel disc um, uh, design, so it will give you more cl clearance for the tires, wider tires, but also for mud and dirt. This is good deal for, uh, for just around, around $1,200. So this diamond back actually looks cool. Uh, the crankset from FSA, it's really good design. And also I would say the silver frame, we don't get so many silver bikes in nowadays. They were like the old school bikes, but I kind of missed the, this uh, design. So this diamond back, really good deal for $1,200. 
And finally, uh, we are going to the uh, German site ebay.de. Guys from uh, US, you can purchase the bicycle or whatever in Germany and uh, like not pay the VAT tax so that you only pay the tax uh, on your side in, in the US. So the price would be, wouldn't be actually higher, you just pay more for the, for the shipment. But this will be probably more for, for uh, European uh, guys. Fuji Treat 1.3 disc. Uh, this one is for $949, but you can send an offer. You don't just uh, push this button here, uh, buy it now. You send offer. You send, I would say, like 800 euros, and they try to negotiate the price because this one has uh, Tiagra components. This is 2016 model. It will have some mechanical uh, discs. And I think this one will be really, um, really good for the uh, commuter bikes. It doesn't have the racing geometry from what I see. I wasn't able to find that. It, it's not that easy to find the geometry of the bike uh, online. So that's, uh, that's the homework for you guys who, who are thinking about purchasing this one. But I would say maybe in 850 euros would be a good price. It would be just below uh, like $1,000 for this bicycle. And next one, you cannot forget about Merida if it comes to cyclocross uh, uh, bikes because their range of cyclocross models is just awesome and really good price. Once more, you can here offer the price. It's just around 900 euros, so over $1,000. Really good frame. I had the 500 model. It was really good. You can, you can look it up uh, on my um, uh, episodes. One thing that uh, maybe would need an upgrade in the future, if you're going, you were going to, to be racing, that would be the fork, because this, way, this one is the alloy, so aluminum fork, whole alloy, carbon one is just gives you the better like muted um, feel of the ride in the terrain. But if you're gonna use this one for commuting, awesome bike and really the, the first model, Merida 300, really good one. We have some Tiagra components, really good frame, really good deal uh, if you if you would like to have the carbon uh, fork rather than um, alloy one you can purchase the 500 model it will come with the uh, carbon fork all right uh, now uh, we go to uk and cannondale it had to be here guys cadex sora disc 2016. let's start with uh, what it doesn't have it doesn't have, have hydraulic brakes certainly below 900 dollars but also it doesn't have tapered uh, head tube it's kind of bits like um, more simple uh, bike but it has the bb30 uh, uh, frame uh, this one comes with the adapter and some really old style uh, square tapered, I think. Maybe Octalink. Octalink or square tapered um, crankset, which is rather heavy, not that stiff, and it's just like the old school uh, really stuff. But you can upgrade that. Uh, the frame is really good quality. The fork is carbon bladed. You have those uh, mechanical disc brakes. $883.84, good price. I would, I would go for this one uh, as well. So this one uh, is now on clearance uh, on Evans Cyclist, Cycles. You have my affiliate link uh, below also. So that's what I would say it's really worth it to, to consider. Remember about geometry and adapters for fenders and racks if you need those for commuting. And finally, two auctions. We go back to US, we have Niner uh, RLT9, a new one, just read the description, but so far 26 bits, bits $1,000, I would check this out for sure. And the other one is the BMC, really high quality cross machine. So this is uh, really made for racing in cyclocross, uh, aluminum alloy, one day and 14 hours left, 117 US so far. I think it, it would go for maybe, it would be good to buy it for like, uh, yeah, $800 would be cool, really. Uh, so check it out. And finally, super budget bike. Uh, why at the end and why it's not uh, among top seven? Because um, what's trending, it's more, uh, it's, um, you know, more expensive. Uh, disc brakes, trending, more expensive. Gravel, trending, more expensive. So it's, more, it's much more difficult to find some budget bike as a gravel or, uh, or cyclocross, but this one actually is quite cheap 
$500, you kind of get what you, what you are buying, what you're um, paying for. The fork isn't even alloy, it's a steel one, so the bike will be rather heavy. But I would say steel fork is more compliant than the alloy fork. So if you don't care so much about the weight, for commuting, this bike would, I would say, it would be okay. Uh, quite low componentry, Shimano Claris, uh, I think the, the, the chainset, it kind, it's kind of like no-name chainset. Uh, yeah, alloy, cross compact, mm, something like that. But for $500, if you want a bike that will have the tire clearance and will just give you quite nice feel of riding on the, on the tarmac, allow you also to go a bit off-road, there is the bike for $500. And finally, the, the last one, that's uh, eBay UK, eBianchi. Uh, this is also cyclocross bike, Zurigo, Zuri, Zurigo. Um, the seller says uh, brand new. I would definitely negotiate the price because it has old components. We have the external housings uh, on the shifter, so just use that. Um, uh, f you, know, you know, just, just for you to, to go with the price down. Um, quite, quite old components, uh, I would say even old school uh, type of bike, but this is Bianchi, nice looking. Uh, so I would say, what? Try to go for 500 uh, pounds would be quite interesting price. All right, so this was the top seven with some additional infos. Uh, I am there in the comment section if you have any further questions. Um, and if you use my affiliate links, thank you very much uh, for that. I will see you for sure on Wednesday, that will be uh, Cycling Academy Lesson 2 and perhaps tomorrow I will also publish the episode on felt bikes with the V range. Thank you for watching, I'll see you soon.